Welcome to Chelsea SW6, my name is Alex, and today I think I'm going to cover um, the the transfer rumors of Thibaut Courtois and Enid Hazard to Real Madrid. Now look, this is something that we're, um, you know, we're, we're very much aware of, and it's, it's kind of normal. Um, we've had this a lot, um, and it shouldn't really surprise us. Now, I think in this type of sense for Thibaut Couture, um, I mean, he did say that, you know, if, if an offer does come from Real Madrid, that, of course, you know, they will need to talk with Chelsea, but he would consider it. And why not? I mean, Real Madrid is a very big club. And also for him, it's where his family is. You know, his two sons are there and they're they're at an age where they do need a father so i think in that type of sense we can understand why he has his doubts why he's also doubting whether to renew his contract i think in on that type of sense um there needs to be a discussion between the club and and Courtois on on, on that type of scenario, um, and on whether Courtois feels as though it's more important to be with his family or be at the club. I think if if it's more important to be with his family, then he should go to Madrid, Real Madrid if the links are true. Um, but if he's committed to the club, then it would be best for him to say, I'm just, I'm fully 100% committed to the club, even if my family is in Madrid. Um, if the scenario, um, if it comes to a scenario where Courtois does leave, uh, uh, for Madrid, whether it's Atletico Madrid, uh, or Real Madrid, I think we're going to have to look into options as to who to replace him. There are two options that spring easily to my mind. The first one is Jano Black at Atletico Madrid. Um, he is at what I would consider to be La Liga's best goalkeeper at the moment. Um, but I think the toughest part uh, where we really have to convince uh, Atletico Madrid is um, on the price because his buyout clause is at 100 million euros which is a lot um, but we really have to to look at it and to, to consider all options um, I mean, 100 million for one player is a lot secondly there's also Gianluigi Donnarumma um, yeah, he's 18 years old compared to All Black, who is 25, so he may have not that much experience. Um, the other disadvantage with Donnarumma is that he has he doesn't have any Champions League experience. Um, but he does have experience at at a top club. I mean, AC Milan are are one of the top clubs in in um, in the Serie A, the Calcio A, sorry. And when you look at his record, he has proven himself to be an amazing goalkeeper, especially at 18. Um, and I don't know if, if you know this, but also there is uh, a certain criteria in his bio clause such that if uh, AC Milan do not qualify for the Champions League, this uh, I think it's this season, uh, if I remember correctly, um, his bio clause will be at 40 million euros. Um, but if they do, his bio clause will be at 70 million euros. So, if they do not qualify for the Champions League, that could be actually a very good um, option to consider. Especially when there's a lot of contract controversies, uh, especially um, with Mino Raiola considered in there, where he basically 
well, I mean, the rumor is that uh, he got no money from that new contract that Donnarumma got, and so he wants to sell Donnarumma. Uh, he wants to push for that uh, um, sell. Um, the the other problem is that Milan currently are under uh, financial problems, and that's uh, I think as uh, if you know. That's one of the reasons why uh, uh, the Chinese company, um, whichever it was, I don't remember, but basically uh, the Chinese owners came in. Um, so, in that type of scenario, if the Ch uh, if the Chinese do pull out, it's it's gonna be a huge problem for Milan. They're gonna have to face financial fair play um, regulations which could mean that uh, they might have to sell some players just to make sure that it meets the requirements. And they could have to sell Donnarumma and you know that could work to our advantage. Now, secondly, with regard to Eden Hazard, now it's no secret that uh, Zidane and Perez admire the player and want him at, at Real Madrid. Um, the only thing is, an offer, n no offer has ever come through uh, for that uh, for him. So um, we do know that Real Madrid are trying to flirt with Hazard, um, and we do know that Hazard did say that uh, he won't sign a new contract um, with Chelsea unless uh, Courtois does. Which, which will be, um, I mean, it, it's it's a little bit complicated to have um, that type of scenario where having both players agree to sign a contract is going to be a very tough scenario uh, in this sense, especially for Courtois. So whether we keep Hazard or not, at this stage, I would I believe solely relies on whether Courtois wants to stay or go. Um, now, for with, with this scenario with Hazard, I mean, he can play as a center forward. We know that he can play as a left wing at the left wing. He can play at right wing position. Um, so he's a pretty uh, well-rounded forward. Um, and for a club at this stage, for for us, when you have um, Morata and Giroud as your only striking options, if he does leave, we lose our third striker option. And of course, I mean we do have Kalamata and Doi, but that would mean that Kalamata and Doi would no longer be our fourth striker option. He would be our third. Um, I don't know, it sounds a little bit risky on that end, but I mean, okay, let's say he does leave. I would prefer if we signed Isco and Asensio. Now, this is my view. Um, you guys can totally disagree with it. But if we sign Asensio and Isco, we know that they have the potential to be first team players. We know that everything is there. We know that also they can provide um, a proper... Uh, Asensio is a proper left-wing player. And should Cesc Fabregas uh, actually leave um, um, at some stage, I mean, within the next couple of years, Isco would actually be the best alternative. So, yeah, I mean, I would say... I'd, this stage, um, it's a very particular, uh, peculiar scenario. We'll have to wait and see what goes on, and I just hope that it goes well for the club and the club. If basically one of the one of them do, do leave, um, that the club is ready and has a replacement ready just in case. All right, um, you guys all have a good day. And I will talk to you later. Hi, I'm Kerry Dixon, um, 193 goals for Chelsea. Don't forget to, to subscribe on Chelsea SW6.